Mastering Possession in English. Unravel the magic of prepositions. Hello, English learners. Today's video will dive deep into a fascinating aspect of English grammar, prepositions of possession. Prepositions are tiny words that hold a big significance in constructing sentences. They help us connect and add meaning to our statements. Prepositions of possession, in particular, are key in expressing ownership or belonging. Prepositions of possession are those prepositions which denote ownership, possession or belonging. They allow us to express that something belongs to someone or is related to something else. The most common prepositions of possession are of, with, to, and, for. Let's take an example. The Book of Mark. A classroom with teachers. The keys to the house. A gift for Maria. In these sentences, the prepositions of, with, to, and, for, indicate a relationship of possession or belonging. Understanding how to use these prepositions in different contexts can be a bit tricky, but don't worry. We will unravel these complexities one by one. Of, of, is one of the most commonly used prepositions of possession. It indicates that something belongs to someone or something. For example, the pages of the book are yellowed with age. This is a photo of my family. With, with, can also indicate possession, although it is less commonly used in this way. Often, with, implies that the possessor is present or accompanies the possessed thing. For example, the girl with the red hair is my sister. To, to, indicates a kind of possession where there is a clear relationship between two things or people. It's often used when referring to features of someone's body or character, or to relationships. For example, the man to my right is my brother. The answer to your question is quite simple. For, for, often indicates that something is intended for someone, thus showing a kind of indirect possession. For example, this present is for you. We've covered a lot today. But remember, mastering prepositions of possession takes practice. Try using them in your daily conversations or writing, and you'll see the improvement. Remember, learning is a journey, and every step, no matter how small, counts towards your goal. Keep practicing and you'll be a master of prepositions of possession in no time. Thank you for joining me in this video, and I hope you found it helpful. Until next time, happy learning!